Hey YouTube, I'm just showing you how to get iPhone 4 features for your iPod Touch second generation. Okay, you go to Cydia, for that to open. Go to search. I'll just cancel that real quick. I don't care about that. Okay, just waiting for that to reload so I can show you. Okay, go to search. Okay, you want to type in features or F E A T, and it'll be right there. You'll see that it says features for iPhone 3G and features for iPod second generation. If you have the iPhone, click on that. Have the second generation iPod, click on that. As you see, I already installed it, so you want to click on that. And once you install it, It'll reset. Then you have to go to Once Aboard. I'll show you. Okay, it allows you to enable and disable iOS 4. You can multitask for it. Percentages for battery, unified iPod. And you could get the, um, oh, and you could change your wallpaper for it. Okay, so you install it. Okay, go back to the home screen. Go to once aboard. Oops, sorry. Go to once aboard. Wait for that to load up. Go to select theme. And you see I have percentages for battery, unified iPod. I don't even know what unified iPod does, but I just clicked on it anyway. And you'll get iPod, wallpaper, and tasking. So you'll click on those three. And it will restart itself. And you see battery percent sheets right there next to the battery logo. You'll multitask by just clicking it twice. And it'll pull up multitask. And you see I have iPod for it. That's what it means for iPod, like the iPhone. You see it shows you podcast, audio book, videos, songs. And if you want to change your background for it, you'll go to settings and go to wallpaper. See, it'll show you if you want it for your lock screen or your home page menu. So you click on that. You can choose if you want save photos or just regular wallpaper. And if you want to click on this one, it'll say set. It'll ask you set for home screen or lock screen. You can just set it for both. It's save and picture. And press the home button, and it's right there. And the thing I like about this, if you go back to settings, go back to settings, it'll leave off what, where it was at first. So if you go back to it, change it, and keep it how it was at first. Set it both. And that's pretty much it. You can rate, comment, subscribe to my videos. I might be making more iPod Touch videos on how to jailbreak it. And how to flash this. And how to give it no slider. It's just like it's invisible. You just slide it. It'll go straight to it. Okay, see y'all guys later.